So today we're gonna to be talking about the five different types of shoes that you guys need for the spring and the summer. So I split this video up into five sections, starting off with your slides and moving on to clogs, sneakers, boots, and workout shoes. For each of these categories, I'll also include a few examples. And if you guys are looking to pick any of these up, they will be linked in the description. Before we get started though, just hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. First category we talk about is slides. So for the summer, you definitely need something that you can slip in and out of pretty easily. First one I'm gonna recommend is the Yeezy slides. These are definitely a summer essential. I wear them pretty much every day. So I have two pairs, one that I wear out and one that I wear inside the house. And the one that I wear inside the house has held up pretty well, even with that daily wear. These are gonna last you a while. Definitely recommend these. They come in a bunch of different colors, mostly earth tones, but they also have a few different variations like lime green, orange. So the slide itself is made out of EVA foam. So you will have that comfort on foot. The next one I recommend is the Arizona Birkenstocks. So these are the sandals that you see with the two straps at the top. They have an EVA sole. So I'm assuming they are pretty comfortable as well. They're usually made out of like a suede or a leather material i'd recommend them for those of you that do like that minimal aesthetic next is the moto vs sweet cokes it's a typical slide but it has those two velcro straps at the top so i got them in black but they do come in a few more colors like gray white olive green they also have a few different models you can choose from next one is the axel arigato magma slides they have more of a futuristic type of vibe to it if you're someone who likes that type of aesthetic you might appreciate these so that's it for the slides not too many in here if you have any more suggestions let me know in the comments next category is clogs so they just a step up from slides they all feel for a little bit more protection first one we're going to talk about is the easy foam runner so i don't know if they're technically clogs but i'm gonna throw them in this category anyway but these are definitely polarizing i've owned them for a little over a year now and i was living in them last summer they're one of my most comfortable shoes so they're easy to slip on and because the design has all these holes throughout it it makes the shoe pretty breathable as well your foot is not going to sweat too much in the summertime they come in a ton of different colors they have like a lot of earth tones but they also have some with patterns and a mixture of colors so definitely look into a pair of foam runners next one is the birkenstein stock clogs so they come in like a suede or like a leather material they're a slip on shoe and then you have one buckle at the top check those out next one is crocs so crocs have been around for years crocs have become a lot more popular over the last year or so in my opinion one of the main drivers for that was the balenciaga croc collab they came out with different pieces that incorporate that croc silhouette a lot of people have been wearing crocs both the balenciaga ones and normal crocs don't be afraid to incorporate those into your style as well if they're anything like the croc boots they will be pretty comfortable they come in a bunch of different colors also the Salehi Benbury collab has like a different take on the Crocs where it's more of a wavy type pattern on it and he also releases a few different colors in these. A lot of good options here to choose from. The next is the Fair God California slip-ons. So they're a pretty simple pair of slip-ons. Not really much I could say about these. Pretty minimal. They're a lot more subtle. They come in a bunch of different earth tones. So if you're someone who wants something a little more subtle, definitely check those out. Next is the Elise Mono slip-on. These kind of remind me of the more formal version of the Foam Runners. It has a similar pattern on it. Less wavy, but it still has that design to it and it also features these breathable holes throughout these come in a few different colors like white black silver and they aren't too hard to find either so you might not have to go through a reseller like through stock x next one is super berkies these are the birkenstock super berkies these remind me a lot of bottegas but they have that classic clog look to them they come in a few different colors especially brighter colors which is perfect for this time orange blue green a few different bright colors that you can incorporate next let's talk about sneakers let's start off with the nike air force one to me the low top version is a lot more clean than the high top you get a lot more wear out of stick with all white stick with the low tops they're a classic pair of shoes and you can't go wrong with some air force ones on the other end of the spectrum you got the balenciaga runners what i like about these is that they're subtle enough for daily wear but they still have a unique look to them. If you own the Track 2s already, these are a lot more comfortable than the Track 2s. If you want to keep it subtle, you could stick with all white or all black. Or if you want to be on the more loud side of things, you could go for like a brighter color, like a multicolor version of it. So a lot of good options here. Next, we're going to talk about the A6 Gel Kayana 14s. I'm assuming this is what the Balenciaga runners are based off of. The design looks pretty similar. It has more of a retro style to it, and they also come in a few different colors. They have red, blue, orange, a few different options for you to choose from there. Next is a Salomon XT6. They're were released in 2013 but they've become pretty popular over the last two three years so they have a lot of colors to choose from from what i hear they are pretty comfortable as well next is the new balance 990s so these have more of a dad shoe type of vibe overall they have a pretty minimal classic silhouette and they're a good shoe for daily wear personally i would stick with the gray ones so if your style is a little bit more on the minimal side you might like these next is the new balance 550s as far as i know they became a lot more popular with the ame leandor release where they released a few different colors like a red one and a green one but after that new balance released more colors in this they 
they also have the high top version of it. These are just a good classic type of shoe, retro type of style. Sticking with the theme of minimal, the Reebok Club C's. They have a classic silhouette. They come in a few different colors. Basically, I've seen a lot of these in all white, but they usually have subtle pops of color throughout it. So these are a good pair of minimal low top sneakers as well. Next, the Rude Recess. It's more of a retro type of style, come in a high top, made out of genuine leather, and they have Rude written across the back. So if you're a fan of Rude, you can check these out. Next, the Common Projects Achilles. They have a few different colors, but I would stick with black or white, just so it lasts you a lot longer. So these just have, you know, minimal silhouette throughout. On the back, it has that signature stamp that you find on a lot of Common Project shoes. Everything's really minimal and clean. And lastly, is Converse's. Not much I can say about this. Pretty much everybody knows what a Converse is. So similar to Crocs, they've been around for years. A ton of different options to choose from, different collaborations, different materials, different colors. Look into some Converse's. So that's it for the sneakers. Let's move on to boots. In case you want to get a little bit more dressed up, you want to elevate your look a little bit, you might need a pair of boots in your wardrobe. So a few different options that you guys can choose from. First one we're going to talk about is the Acne Studios Bruno boots. So these are pretty classic silhouette. It has one zipper on the side. The toe is pointed, but it has a squared off edge. And these are just a good pair of boots to have in your wardrobe. Next is the Balenciaga Tiaga boots. These are a little more on the experimental side, but they still do have a classic look to them. The shoe itself is made out of leather. It has overall angular design. The heel has like an angular shape to it. Again, it has that classic silhouette with more of a unique spin on it. Next one is super unique, the Balenciaga Trooper boots. So I picked these up in black, but they come in gray and green as well. Um, they have a matte black finish. They're made out of full rubber. They're one piece. They have like the squared off design. And these don't come in at too much of a high price tag in comparison to Balenciaga's other pieces. And lastly, Clarks, specifically in the Desert Boot and the Wallabies. Well, I'm a big fan of Clarks and I've owned multiple pairs of Clarks over the years. They're extremely comfortable. They have a lot of colors to choose from, a lot of materials to choose from. I would say stick with suede or leather. They're gonna last you a long time definitely looking a pair of clarks so next let's talk about workout shoes you got to stay in shape you got to stay fit and you want to be comfortable while you do so the first one i might recommend is the adidas ultra boost the top is made out of like a knit material so it's breathable the sole is all the boost material which is extremely comfortable on foot i had this pair since 2017 and they held up pretty well i pretty much wear these all the time to the gym next the nike air pegasus 38s they come in a mesh and a foam material so it's good that it's mesh so it's breathable and then the foam is comfortable on foot those are the two that i have for y'all but let me know if y'all got any more recommendations leave them down in the comments and i'll check them out so those are the five types of shoes that you guys need for the spring and the summer again i'll leave everything linked in the description in case you want to pick any of these up if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe for more content like this and i'll see y'all in the next one